Okay, let's have coffee together. My cup says awaken. There's All a reason right. to the story. I promise, there's a reason to the story. Okay, so years ago, and this is gonna go to like our mindset and what script are we running off of? I always tell the moms that I coach, what script are you using? You don't understand the power of the role that you've chosen to play. And I know that sounds a little funny, but I'll make more sense of it in a second for you. So this story goes like this. My sister Susie is a brilliant nurse. And years ago, she was working in a well-known hospital in the oncology unit for pediatrics, and she was working the night shift. She'd been there for years. So one night about one in the morning, she needed to go downstairs to the pharmacy floor and put in a script for one of the children. She goes and does this. It's desolate down there. It's like one o'clock in the morning. And there are two windows. One says drop off and one says pick up. And the one where it says drop off, the shade is drawn. And the one that says pick up, the shade is up. And there's a woman standing right there. So Susie just went right to that window and just handed the script and said, oh, from Dr. So-and-so, slides it through. And the woman looked at her like she had three heads. She said, oh, you're dropping off? My sister said, um, yeah. She said, um, next window. So Susie's like, oh, okay. So it takes the script back and goes down. The shade comes up, it's that same woman. And she looked at Susie with a very pleasant smile and said, I can help you. My sister was like, what's happening? Gives her the script, fine, it's done. So the story doesn't end there. My sister goes back upstairs and just to have a little levity, you know, it's the night shift. She's talking with her fellow nurses and tells the story. And so through the course of the night, they may have done it four times later, and they sent different nurses down with the different scripts and everybody knew, do not go to the drop off window. Like you've got to go to the pickup window and you've got to see if this is still happening. And guys, every time, every time, even if both windows were like the blinds were shut or they were both open, it just didn't matter. Everybody went to the pickup window to drop off their prescription. At one point, the woman was at five feet away, at over here, somebody drops off at the um, pickup window, stands over here like this, and this woman goes, that's the wrong window. And they have to come on down. And as soon as they came in front of her, she was like, may I help you? So, she like literally was like Jekyll and Hyde. So why do I tell you the story? I tell you the story because that woman took it upon herself to decide that she would be kind and courteous to you if you followed her rules, right? And that's not the way that we live. We are kind and courteous because that's who we are. We are joyful, peaceful, calm moms because that's who we are. Not because our child chooses to do anything anything, anything, because we are joyful, kind, and calm, peaceful moms. And our script needs to run from that place. So no matter what our child does, we don't attack them from this place of, oh, well, you only did this, so then you get the good mom, but now you're doing that, you get the bad mom. That's not how we approach this. What we do is we have a script, and in that script that we have to learn, our characteristics of who we are. And not only that, it means we have to think certain things. Imagine if you were on stage in a play and you had a character to play and somebody went off script and they started improvising. Well, because you knew your character so well, you could immediately come up with the words that you were going to speak because you knew after a while how this character would have normally thought and therefore they would know how to respond. So you as moms need to know before you walk downstairs, when you wake up, you need to know how are you gonna respond? How do you think about your life and your child? Because if you think like, oh no, today's gonna be another crap day and I bet you Johnny's gonna be acting angry and this is gonna happen that, and my life is so hard and it's never gonna get better. Well, there's your script. So no matter what Johnny does, unless it's perfect, he is going to determine how you feel. He is going to determine how you act. No, he doesn't get to determine that. No matter which window shade he opens up, he doesn't determine who you are. You are joyful, peaceful, calm, content mom, and you know he's gonna be okay, and you know that every single day he's getting better tomorrow than he was today. So no matter how he presents, no matter which window shade he opens, hi Johnny, how are you doing? Okay, because we're trying to teach these kids that we want them to go with the flow. We don't want them to be all up and down with the chaos of their mind, and yet we don't model it for them. 
So we need you to model this, moms. We need you to believe it until it is literally who you become. Because when you are from this place, operating from this truth of who you are, a joyful, peaceful, calm mom with a God-given purpose to be your child's parent, then wisdom has a chance to speak. And it tells you exactly what to say, tells you exactly what to do, tells you when to hug, tells you when to pull back tells you when you just need to be quiet, maybe make their breakfast. It helps you come up with new ways of dealing with your child. So this is why I say you do have control over this ADHD, but you need to take an active role in it. And that role begins with you, moms. Isn't that fun? That's a good wrap up, right? Have a good one, moms. Love ya.